Aloha friends, it's another vlog day. But for real, it's uh, it's still the night of my first vlog back. Um, I uploaded the one this afternoon, but now it's dinner time and I had I had to take a nap. My my pain medication, it's it knocks me out in the afternoon like like I have two sleep cycles, which is why I have insomnia um, worse than before because I'm basically having two sleep cycles. So I don't go to bed until about past midnight and I just cannot go back to bed. I'm restless, which is why I have to take my medication. Um, I'm taking, is it Gabapen? And I don't like it. I, my body does not like it, but if I don't take it, um, I've had three surgeries this year. I don't even know how to start this, but anywho, okay, let me, I'm going to have you guys chit chat with me for a bit. Sorry, me. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, I'm making a defrosted ground beef this morning. Actually, it was uh, midnight, so early morning. Left it in the fridge, and now it's just barely defrosted. Um, I hate cooking during the winter here, Seattle area. Everything is cold. Even if you put it in the counter all day, it's still cold, still frozen. Um, but I'm going to make Filipino torta, which is just basically like a ground beef omelet. Um, you ground the ground beef, you season it with just potatoes and onions, tomatoes, and then um, brown that, season it, and then you get um, scrambled eggs, like you scramble the eggs and mix it together and then you fry it. And then I also love cooking up any vegetables because I can't have meat by itself for me. I love veggies. So I just bought this enoki mushroom. I'm just gonna saute that in butter. And then I also have one, one, um, I don't know why I left one, bok choy and it's like, and like help me into its last leg. So I wanna cook that before it goes bad because there is nothing worse than veggies going bad for me. I love vegetables. So I'm just gonna saute that together and then the girls can either put it over ramen or we can just eat it by itself. Okay. Like I said, I have my um, my PJs, Harry Potter, Costco, $12.99, I believe it was. I have three different ones. I love Harry Potter. Oh, I got to tell you guys. Um, I got to tell you guys what hubby gave me for Christmas, but let me get the oil. I got the oil, and then the potatoes, and then you know what? Um, I'm going to saute more potatoes than normal because, um, oh, you guys can see my board collection. Oh, I am, I think I'm done collecting the boards, but I found some new boards. This is, um, Home Goods. This was 14, but my most favorite one is this thick one. Well, this one was Goodwill for like $3. Um, this one was home goods look at that one cheese board i love this one i don't know if i can lift it it's pretty heavy oh my gosh okay i can't i can't but this was 39 39 that I, oh my god okay mm. Whew. i have to really be careful of things with my hand because it may look like it's okay, but really, it's not because I'm, I'm still having issues. And I'll talk about that. But first, let me pause, go get my salt and pepper, garlic, all my seasonings. Okay, so when I cook, I don't, it's hard for me to follow a recipe. I just taste, I basically take out the main ingredient, which is meat. I know I'm going to make torta with, with this because the kids will eat it. Danica will eat it. It's always Danica that I worry about because she's a very picky eater. But she will have torta. Um, and then I saw this. I have um, this, which is uh, the Hawaiian style curry. This is really good. It's a mild flavor curry. Um, and then I don't have any other defrosted meat. It's still frozen, but I do have tofu. I always have tofu. 
can buy like a six pack at Costco, two, four, six, um, for like six dollars. So I always have that in hand. And I can always, just so that we can have like a sabao, a soup base, um, I have that. I do have green beans. I think, yeah, I will do that. Because like I said, I want to use up the vegetables I have. I even have a little ginger. I wanted to flavor it with just a little bit of ginger, but I have everything that I really need for curry, which is a little bit of green beans, one bok choy, that's good, uh, peppers, onion, and then a bag of potatoes, okay? Potato, potato, but I can do that and then also add potatoes onto the, the torta and then I will make curry, but instead of using this one, I like to use up the stuff that I have on hand already that's open. This is the authentic uh, thigh curry paste. It's a paste. And so I bought this over at Wajimaya, which is a Japanese, oh, I can't, a Japanese, um, a Japanese grocery store that we have locally. Oof. And it's a red curry. So I'll do that instead of using up this one. Because this one, I like to keep it on hand. I bought it there too, but where's the expiration on this one? Because things expire. I don't like it when it doesn't have an expiration date because then I'm kind of scared to use it. Okay, but I know I just bought that within like the month of December, so that's good. Let me peel this and oh, um, I have enough everything for curry and torta. My advice for those watching that are just starting their family out, and I teach this to um, to Danielle, um, when you're cooking, have everything like ready. Don't don't be cooking, sauteing, frying, um, boiling, or um, especially with the oil on, and then you have to step out into the pantry, or may you you know step down into the garage. Maybe that's where your pantry's at, but have everything all prepped up so that when you're cooking, it's not that stressful because cooking can be fun. Okay, so here are my veggies and these are actually almost all of the vegetables. This is 90% of the vegetables that I have on my fridge. Um, I have, this is for the torta, which is the tomato, the potato, and then the onion. I don't have any more fresh garlic, so I'm just gonna use garlic powder, that'll do. And then, oh, I also have minced garlic into the fridge from Costco. They don't taste like real garlic, but it will do. And then I'm going to add this onto the curry at the very end. And then this is semi-hot, not too hot. And then bigger chunks of onion compared to this one onto the curry. And then bigger chunks of potato into the curry. Green beans and then the bok choy. I just um, kind of sliced it up into smaller pieces. Washed it really well. And then I'm going to saute this with just butter by itself. Okay, so everything is all prepped up. And then I like to have, this is a favorite uh, seasoning for me, just a red pepper powder. And then I have sesame, just to gar like garnish at the end. Salt. And then we like things spicy in here. And then um, the garlic powder and then black pepper. And then I've got olive oil. And then I have... Um, tofu that I'm gonna just drain and rinse kind of thing and chop into big pieces and then my um, my ground beef okay so let's go ahead and get started all right so I started sauteing my potatoes and then added onion and then like I said the, the garlic um, I didn't have fresh garlic and then just a day, another about minute or so, and then I'll add the tomatoes. The potatoes are like the hardest ones to cook because you want the potatoes to be soft but not mushy and definitely not hard because then it's, it just doesn't make the salt up taste good. Okay. I'm going to lower the heat on that one. Like I said, when I'm frying, I like to use the skillet. Then for this one, I'll go ahead and turn it on. I like to put it in the double. 
I don't like to fry in here because then it goes everywhere. I don't like it when it splatters and then it's within the circle. I think that's the thing that bothers me the most. I don't mind cleaning it afterwards. It's just that when oil splatters and it's within the circle, within the, the heat, and then you can't wipe it. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and start um, sauteing like the, the onions and then the garlic. Okay, I added the tomatoes. Let me go ahead and put in the ground beef. Okay, wash my hands. And kind of so hard to cook one hand, and then both hands are broken. So I'm just gonna wash that in there. All right, and then I forgot to get um, aloha. It says pickle man, but I just use it for the container. This is actually aloha soy sauce, which is my preference of soy sauce because it's uh, lighter in flavor. Okay. It is um, basically cooked, so I'm going to also add just a drizzle soy sauce in there just to add some flavor. And then I bought some fresh brown eggs from Costco, but I don't like to waste the brown eggs when I'm cooking something savory like this because you can't really taste the freshness of the eggs. So I just, um, I just grabbed this uh, from the grocery store when I went to Safeway. I uh, grabbed some regular eggs. I'm going to use about four or maybe five um, with just a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little salt and pepper because this is already seasoned and then just a splash of the soy sauce and then over here I am sauteing then over here I am sauteing the onion with the, the potatoes just a little bit because potatoes are tend to be takes forever to cook not too long and then I will put uh, chicken broth in there and then bring it to a boil and then also add in my veggies and such and the tofu all right, I added um, enough water just to cover the potatoes, and then there is one chicken bouillon in there. I thought I had chicken um, broth, but I did not. Um, I did not, so this will work as well. You just don't want the the plain water. You want to flavor it with something, and that's why I always have these handy because they're lifesavers. Okay, and this is a very simple, very simple um, curry. So it's just adding on to the meal because so that the kids can put it over rice and have a little soup base. Um, always soup is always good for for your throat and for your um, for your health. All right, I went ahead and also added the peppers now because they are you know they tend to cook a while and then the potatoes are almost halfway and that's when you add the beans. You don't want the beans to kind of um, be too too brown. I like my I like my veggies crunchy, but the kids this is for the kids. The kids, on the other hand, if you overcook their veggies, then they tend to eat it more. So that and then that just that one bouillon chicken bouillon in there just add added so much flavor in here already. Okay. And Danielle changed her mind. She wants the, she wants the Hawaiian um, curry. And so easy, so simple, so flavorful. And then when I picked up Danielle, Miss Mary and I picked up Danielle from uh, Western University yesterday because they're going back to online. I stopped by Lola's because I made fresh kimchi and she wanted um, a bottle, a uh, mason jar. And then she made a electric plant, so we kind of swapped. And then I'm letting this one rest so that um, it doesn't cook the, the eggs. Um, you know, so it doesn't curl. Is it curl? <laughs> uh, curd? Oh, I don't know. You know how like when you cook the eggs. But anyways, Danielle is playing Animal Crossing. And then just a little bit of, like I said, soy sauce. Because you don't want the eggs to be, you know, unflavorful. So you just kind of flavor it and then you just keep eating this and then you just add a little of that at a time so it doesn't cook the eggs and then we can fry it okay. it is halfway done and then we're going to go ahead and use this curry seasoning 
put the whole thing and be careful because if you have a stove like mine, then that's gonna burn into the into the heating element. Okay, and then we're gonna stir it. I'm moving it onto this one because like I said this is why I don't like to use it um, which is understandable the pot is bigger than that and I should have cooked it here but I like <laughs> I like the right side better now um, the reason that we also like this um, kind of curry is because it's very light in flavor so now it's basically cooked I'm just gonna add the tofu in there for the last about 10 minutes And then it's not supposed to be super thick like um, other curries. So that's another reason why we like this one as well. Okay. Trash. Um, okay, and then just gently. It's a firm tofu. I don't like to. Just cook. And then once it's almost cooked, I'll add the bok choy, just place it on top, and that only cooks about two minutes, and then also the green onion. All right, it's pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and put my bok choy thinly slice, and that's gonna take a minute, and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, and then also just add the little onion that I had left in the fridge. Even though it's just a little bit, it's going to add a nice punch to it. And then I'll turn this off in just even a minute or two because that bok choy is going to cook into the heat of the, the soup base. All right, so all I did was just um, scoop it like into four, four um, sections and because I want it to be just one serving. Nobody wants half of a, of a torta, you know. Everybody should have their own full full-size torta and then it's okay if they're touching because we can all be friends right this one I think needs a little bit more meat and then all I do is just kind of pat 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 to make sure that it's easy to flip over right and then I turn down the heat so that it doesn't kind of burn the egg that's it friends that's how you make torta Okay, once it's cooked on both sides, then I get a plate. I put a paper towel at the bottom just to catch oil, um, catch all the oil drippings. Okay, first two, three, see, four, and everybody has their own little no section and then I'll get another paper towel just to again catch that oil that grease see how what I'm patting it and then I'm gonna clean this with a paper towel and then add a little bit more oil and then fry some more all right friends so here is the torta look at that there is about six I think no nope, more than that maybe eight servings okay and that is how you make Filipino torta, and then we enjoy it with, of course, Filipino banana sauce. So we have spicy, you have C, and then Jofran, which is the mild. These are so good, okay? So good. Perfect for the torta. Can't have torta with that Filipino ketchup. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, this is our Hawaiian style tofu curry, all done. I put a little bit of the... Um, Korean pepper uh, powder on top because we like it spicy and then the torta all right friends I got my bowl of rice I've got my um, spicy um, UFC banana sauce 
there goes my tofu hawaiian curry and then the torta and then lola's leche plant okay let's go ahead take a taste test i want to try this one first so this is my own personal bowl mm, i'm gonna try that tofu come on take a little sip mm, mm, mm. mild not too strong mm. so good so good so good Okay. Oh no. Okay. Didn't I say that nobody wants a half of a torta? Okay. Let's just put it in here. That's the serving spoon. And then my spicy sauce. Ooh. These are really spicy. Nope. Can't have it without the spicy sauce. Come on. Get in there. Mmm. Mm mm mm. Sauteing it first with the potato and the onion and the tomato and then adding a little bit of that soy sauce just adds the perfect flavoring to that. Delicious. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to cook Filipino torta and Hawaiian tofu curry. Mahalo, friends.